Okay guys, it's me Imad. So today in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to make an hour voltage protection circuit within the SimulID simulator. So how we can do that? First of all, uh, we have to search for our microcontroller as we are doing this circuit with the help of Arduino Uno. So we will search for our microcontroller. So we will write Uno here in the search box and we got our Arduino Uno. So click on it and drag it out. And uh, we also need to click on zoom to fit so that we can see it properly. Now we have, we have got our microcontroller. After this has been done, we will do one more thing that we need a voltage divider circuit because we want to measure uh, 12 volt with the help of microcontroller. So in order to make such a circuit, obviously we need certain resistances. So here we write resistor. So this is our first and this is our second resistor. Click on it and rotate it out and also this one. Okay, and we have to adjust the values. We have already made the circuit and we know that the first value must be of like a 47k. Uh, sorry, 47 kilo ohm like this. And the lower one must be of 33k. Okay, and now okay one more thing that we need to take one fixed voltage power supply so that we can apply our a voltage on which we are supposed to operate our loads now this has been done we will go and we will take our ground this one and we have to connect the analog zero pin of the controller with that of in between 47k and 33 kilo ohm resistor. Okay. Now this is our circuit. Some of the voltage used to drop on 47k while some on 33 kilo ohm. Okay. So now we have to see. Okay. Now first uh, we will go for one more thing. Uh, that uh, we will do our programming so we can open our program and here we will declare certain function certain variables and all these things so in Arduino you know so first we have to declare a vari variable okay so first we will declare a variable that is int well okay now for what we are declaring these variables because we will store certain values in it so so we have to declare these variables and uh, this well variable will just store the integer type data while this volt underscore zero zero variable will st can store apart from integer we can store decimal number as well like 1.1 1.3 and like this so that is why float data type is used here we can go for one more variable that is float we float rest one is equal to 47000 and float okay so here this is our first uh, variable that is float rest one is equal to 47000 it will store this value Okay, that is 47,000. It is actually re representing the 47 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will go for the second, that is float rest 2 is equal to 33,000. Okay, and uh, then we, we have to declare our first uh, function, that is wire setup. And uh, we, you must know that wire setup just executes for one time. This is mostly used for certain initializations like uh, for certain communication protocol like serial dot begin or if you want to declare some variables you can use this wire setup so here we write serial dot begin serial dot begin 
1600 now this this line or this function that is dot begin will actually initialize our serial communication so so we, we so we are not going into the complexities of this function okay uh, you just need to write this and it will start your serial communication you can uh, you, you can write or read data from serial port now this has been done the next thing is while loop so this is while loop and here in while loop we write val is equal to analog read of a0 now what is this analog read is actually a function which will actually read the analog data from pin number a0 and will give it to the uh, or it uh, store it in the variable val okay we have declared it out after this has been done we will write volt underscore zero zero we have declared one variable which is volt underscore zero zero here above you can see here it is volt underscore zero zero it can store a uh, load value in it so it will go for well multiply by 5.0 divided by 1024 multiply by res1 plus res2 res1 plus res2 divided by res2 okay so now what is this actually this formula is based upon uh, a thing that is called less uh, v out is equal to v in multiply by uh, what's called as the resistor that is res2 divided by res1 plus res2 so uh, okay now, now on the screen you can see this thing okay on right hand side you can see that i have uh, written here certain formula which is actually voltage divider rule okay so here uh, volt underscore zero zero is actually the volt n okay so so we are we are just reading it out okay okay and uh, why we have written this 1024 it is the resolution and 5 is representing 5 volt or 5.0 is representing the, uh, the, the voltage the maximum voltage that uh, our ADC can handle because our A0 pin or analog 0 pin is actually the ADC connected pin and 1024 is the step size means that in between 5 and 0 0 and 5 there are 1024 step and each step is like like a few few uh, millivolts okay so it, it can measure up to this one so after this formula will get uh, read the voltage then we will write serial dot serial dot print ln voltage what is the voltage voltage is equal to and after we need to write your semicolon as well and then we write serial dot print ln dot print ln volt underscore zero zero and after this has been done we write delay of 500 okay after every 500 we need to read our data okay done compiling now we will go for our hex file link and here it is we will copy it out control c we will go here go to mega 328 go to properties go to firmware click on it and like this okay now we're firmware has uploaded successfully we will go and we will take serial terminal as well so
the consume to fit so that we can see it properly. Connect TX with the RX pin of the Arduino Uno. It is the serial port and this TX with RX. Okay, now run it out. Or click on open. Now we can see that we got 0 volt and now 4.98. So this is the thing that like we have. We can adjust it like this. And we, we, we can see that if we use to increase it 6, then it is showing 5.99 on the seal monitor. This one and this one. Okay, and this. Up to 12 volt, it used to work perfectly. After 12, it is not as such. Okay. Okay, now this has been done. Now we will go and we will take our load. The load consists of lamps. Okay, incandescent lamps. So here, this is our lamp. It will be connected with that of our with that of our power supply but but we, we have to do one more thing we we have to we have to insert a relay so we can move it out here we can connect our relay in between power supply and incandescent lamp okay like this Like this and lower end with that off, other end with that off, ground. Okay, now with this our relay, we will connect the okay, we will connect the connect connecting terminals of this relay with that of lamp and the other end with the supply. Okay, and the, the coil must be connected with that of any of the digital pins like this like so let me show you pin the pin number eight we can connect it like this and the lower end with that of ground like this so now whenever our voltage will exceed certain limit like eight eight volts then our connection will get off means that our relay will get open and our incandescent lamp become off like this so now okay we will okay now, now we will go to programming programming and here we will write if volt underscore zero zero is greater than six then our digital right like it will become low it will become low and if and if digital if volt is less than 6 is less than or equal to 6 then it will be high means that it will be up or it will be like having one on its pin and what is it actually it is our pin digital io pin so we will write pin mode 8 comma 8 comma output and we have declared this pin as the output okay now this server programming uh, it is done and uh, now we run it out Again, we will go to our circuit. We, we can right click on it at Mega 328 properties. Press enter from where well successfully loaded. And now we will run it out. And now you can see that our. Okay, it is saying what? 8. Okay. So whenever our voltages are in safe uh, values that are up to 6 volt or 5 volt then it is working properly the relay is on and whenever we will increase the voltage our relay will become off 
so in this way we we have designed a voltage our voltage protection circuit within the simulid simulator so hopefully you got the concept that how you can make a voltage protection circuit or our voltage protection circuit within the simulid simulator so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe